Hey everyone, my name is Brendan Hogan. I am the creator of the Virtu products Violence and Fractured. Just like Violence was made entirely with violin sounds, Fractured was made entirely from the sounds of prepared acoustic guitars. I'd like to take a few moments to show you through some of the instruments in the library. I don't have time to show you them all because there's over a hundred of them, but here are just a few of my favorites. Before we get to that though, I want to show you a feature which I think is a cool feature. In the lower right hand corner of every instrument, there's an icon, and if you click on that icon, a picture slides across. And this picture shows you what was recorded for that particular instrument, as well as a description of the instrument and instrument-specific instructions. So this instrument here, for example, which is appropriately called shoestring, was created by wrapping a shoestring around every string of a steel string guitar, which muted the strings in a really interesting way and created a sound which to my ear is something like the cross between pizzicato strings and a zither of some sort. Sounds like this. Here's another instrument called metallurgical, which is actually a combination of three different preparations. First off, I pinch the guitar strings off with a clothespin. Then for the lower velocity layers, it's the sound of the strings being hit with a eraser, and then which crossfades to uh, strings being hit with a silver knife at the higher velocities. Sounds like this. Each instrument also comes with a set of controls for attack, release, stereo width, reverb send, and delay send, as well as uh, effects controls, which are specific to that instrument. So every instrument has a unique set of effects. There's also a screen for EQ controls, as well as a screen for effects settings. So there's just two instruments from the melodic category. At the heart of the library, for me, is a category of instruments that I call chromatic kits. And these chromatic kits are based on experiments the composer John Cage did with prepared pianos. And because a piano is set up where each note has an individual string, then every note was different. A guitar, of course, only has six strings, so you'd only have six options for different preparations. Um, but through the magic of sampling, I've created a set of instruments which have a much larger range of um, preparations. This one, for example, has 11 different options. So to select a note, you simply just press a key on your keyboard and all the controls for that note jump into place. And say you're playing a song in the key of G minor, um, but say you don't like the sound that plays on the B flat there. So you just come right here and you can select another sound to play on that B flat. So I change the panning. I'm going to pan that to center. There's also actually a handy pan all to center function here. So I'm going to select that. There is individual reverb and delay send controls for every note, as well as global controls. So I'm going to turn up the global controls, as well as global effects here. So I'm going to change the seed sound. So you can see you can create a whole new instrument um, just by programming what every note is going to sound like, which can then be saved and uh, recalled later. Let's move on to the drum kits category. Got nine different drum kits here, one of which is called a rice kit, which was created by all manner of interactions between rice and guitar strings. Um, so. I dropped individual grains of rice onto the guitar string. Here, I'm quickly going to use the restore to default setting here because I've been messing with that. So we've got sounds of dropping grains of rice onto the strings, uh, throwing handfuls of rice onto the strings, filling the guitar with rice and hitting it with hands and mallets and different objects, uh, sh shaking the guitar full of rice,
letting the rice slide around inside the guitar. There's five full octaves of sounds here for you to play around with and choose from. So that's Rice Kit. Let's take a, look, a quick look at another kit. This is called Impacts. And this is a collection of 36 different cinematic impact sounds, which were all individually designed from acoustic, prepared acoustic guitar recordings. It should be noted that um, notes in the higher registers have really long attack times, so you'll need to hold the note down to hear the whole thing. Here's one of the more unusual instruments in the library. This one is called By Hand, and it's in the drum kits category, although really it kind of straddles multiple categories. This one, I came up with this one from the idea that if you turn a guitar over and play it like a hand drum, then the strings will resonate. And I thought, wouldn't it be cool if you could play different chords and different notes while you're playing the drum? But of course, I only have two hands, so that's hard to do. But once again, through the magic of sampling, as it were, um, you can do that. It's a little unconventional to play with, but really simple once you know how. You just hold down a chord or a set of notes in the left hand, which won't make any sound at first, and then play rhythms in the right hand. And just like on a real guitar, uh, the different places you hit the guitar will have caused the string resonances to have different timbres. So you can see that has one timbre, the knuckle wraps have another timbre. And then there's controls, you can control the mix of the two sounds, so you can have just the resonances. Let's move on to another section. This is the pads and sound effects section. As you can see, there's a lot of instruments in there. This one is called Metallic Shades, and it was made by taking bobby pins and placing them across the strings, and then digitally stretching those sounds out to create this pad sound. The lower registers especially have a really nice metallic overtones to them. Here's another instrument from the pads and sound effects category called wire pull, which was created by taking a copper wire, looping it around the strings of the guitar and slowly pulling it across. Then of course there's a mix control, which will mix in a more tonal aspect of that sound. And finally, the final category we have here is called the tempo synced category. There's quite a lot of instruments in here as well. Some of the instruments in here are what I like to call playable loops which means they can be just sort of static loops. Like you hold down a key and it plays a loop. This loop is the result of playing uh, the guitar with chopsticks. So tapping and sliding the chopsticks across the guitar. But you can also play it like a melodic instrument in its own right. Because it's been sampled with multiple velocity layers and with release samples. Or what I like to do is turn on the quantize feature, turn it to 16th notes here, and then play a bunch of notes, which creates really interesting cross rhythms like this. So there we go, there's just nine of the instruments from Fractured. Thanks for your interest, and I hope you enjoy Fractured from Virtu Instruments.